Yeah, it's great to be back here. This is my home state, and I'm from Detroit originally. And we raised $150,000 today for the homeless, and it's just great that people are coming out to support. Well, this seems to be basically a series now of trying to raise money for comic relief. Yeah, if we can get out to events like this and get the word out to people that were involved with the NBA and basketball, um, and comic relief, putting all those three together, if we can get people out to support us, hey, God bless you. All right, Dave, well, it's a worthy cause, especially this time of the year. Let's go back to you, keep it All right, Stevens handles the ball out in front for Michigan State. They're down by four at 11.15 to go. Smith's shot is redirected by George Ackles. He does a great job of that, Mr. Ackles. He's a shot blocker. Hunt stays quiet in the second half. They've handled him. There's the versatility of Smith, shown his rebounded ability. Went to Persian High School in Detroit. Thomas Spencer, Haywood, Ralph Simpson, Kevin Willis. Don't want the ball in that corner. Matt Stacking uh, won't go down. And on the rebound drive, foul Steven. Jerry Tarkanian rotating from the man-to-man -man into a half-court zone trap defense. Dwayne Stevens has four fouls now, Dick. Mark Montgomery has four, so the Spartans are getting in foul trouble. Well, they can rotate Stevens and Power Schickman, but they really can't afford to lose Montgomery. Anthony and Hunt out in front. Inside to the big guy, Johnson. Good ball reversal. Now that you finally get a whistle in there, Nick Picaro pulls it on Hickman, trying to check Johnson down in the boxes. Ten minutes and 36 seconds to play in the ball game, 64 to 60. And going to the free throw line, Anderson Hunt. And I have some very sad news. Uh-oh. Just passed on by our producer, Kim Belton. Uh -oh. Ralph Floyd has passed away. Oh, wow. The athletic director Beautiful at Indiana man. University. Beautiful man. Behind over the head, behind the pack. Stacy Ogman broke three and drops it through. Ralph Floyd is what a beautiful six. man. We certainly send our sympathies to the Floyd family. Uh, he was the creator of that Hoosier uh, classic. Lost four. his wife a few years ago, and now he's gone. We miss it. Anthony brings it down. Again, that is partially deflected from behind by Steve Smith. Spartans are fighting, pawing, and scratching. They trail by six. They turn it over. Give it back to the trailer. Give it Three back to the trailer. One. There he is. Oh, oh Johnson missed it. Smart play going to the trailer. Look at a big hug around him. But he missed it because of the people. Look at him. He says he loves him. I love you. Don't worry about it. They have such love for one another. It's so beautiful to see. Playing together. He knows he's trailing. Hunt says, look, I'm going to get it to you. But that was a good defensive play just to break up his angle to the basket. Staganga is uh, hit with a foul, or wasn't he? Or was it, no, it was Wyshynski who got whistled for. Chris Wyshynski. Not long ago, one of the first Lumina sedans was bought by a family of five. They said they liked the gas mileage, all the room it had, and they liked the price. Since then, the Lumina sedan has quickly become the best-selling new car name in America. Apparently, a lot of people are winning with The heartbeat of America, that's today's Chevrolet. Now it's easy to win with a heartbeat. America's watching ABC. Wrap up your holiday shopping at Barton's. You can choose from a Stanley Hammer or lined cowhide gloves for only $4.88. A great neck combination square, a Swanson speed square, or 8-inch long nose pliers, your choice, just $5. And for under $10, get a bar stool or a propane torch kit. Save on great gift ideas throughout the store and wrap up your holiday shopping at Barton's. You can count on a low, low price from Barton's. You can count on... This holiday season, treat yourself and your family to the delicious buffet at Ed's Country Catfish. Ed's Christmas special Tuesday through Sunday includes the addition of fried oysters and crab meat to the regular $6.44 buffet. Also enjoy Pila Manitum shrimp on the buffet for only $7.44. Don't forget, every Tuesday, Ed's crab leg special and buffet is only $9.95. Give yourself a Christmas present this year. Come out to Ed's Country Catfish, Highway 1, south of Jonesboro. Old-fashioned picking and grinning on Hee Haw Saturdays. 
The ball game is on the line right here for Michigan State is concerned. UNLV has rattled off seven consecutive points. They lead by six now, and they have the ball, and they lead by nine. That's a great call during a timeout. Go to the number one option, slides through, gets the open basket. Kaplowski lets him get great inside baseline position. Eight-point lead, a nine-nothing run. This is a big possession. They have to score right here. Smith inside, got it. Well, that's a great choice. Now you go to the All-American, and he proves he's an All-American. He wants to rock when the game is on the line. And that pass came from Montgomery, who's back in the game playing with four personal fouls. So that's a weak defensive spot for Michigan State. Well, they should attack him right now with Anderson Hunt. They're going to right here. He should drive right at him. They go inside to Johnson, and Johnson is fouled by Plapowski. Plapowski picks up his fourth personal foul. Steve Smith trying to post inside number 21. They're mugging him. He gets the great angle inside. They got two people surround him. He just jams it. He was not heavily recruited. He almost went to Missouri. A lot of kids from Detroit headed to Missouri. Doug Smith is up there. They had a guy by the name of Lee Coward several years ago. They got so many down in Detroit. They go to a lot of places. I'll tell you, when I was coaching there, I wouldn't let the great ones out of that city. I'd lock them up, and I'd keep all the coaches out of the airport. <laughs> one and one for Johnson. Missed it. Missed the top end. I just Big don't like rebounds it. I just don't like that hesitation in that delivery of that shot. Keith. Well, he knocked down the first five. So. Hey, it just seems to me he'd be a much better shooter with a smoother release. Montgomery got in trouble. Ball deflected out of bounds. See and turned over. He's a little bit angry at Stagenga. Stagenga, some say. Some say Stagenga. <laughs> Judd Heco told us Stagenga. I go with the Judd told me it's Stagenga. Matt told me it's Stagenga. Well, right, there we, you go. We should go by Matt. <laughs> show you, heard, you heard what he said yesterday. The family uses the. Uh, his coach says, says, his coach said, you just know your name's Matt. You don't even know your name. Johnson puts it out. Boom. What versatility. Multi dimensional. Larry Johnson. 31 points. 31. He goes on a perimeter. 31, 71-62 now. Still not at the blow it open point yet. Michigan State has a tough time getting easy baskets. They get very few easy transition baskets. Good pass along the baseline. See what a Kirk Mance last year, he would knock down the three from the perimeter. Big Mike, can't get it. Oh, look at this, and Smith missed it. And the rebound of the Rebel. Smith got a little bit too casual. I scored a look at Jackson, that one. 33 points. I'd get a, I'd get a little T.O. right here, Judd. 11 point lead all of a sudden. <laughs> Smith against Anthony. See when they got it from the ball up the court, crunch time, they put it in Smith's hand. They want to run that little weave. See, there's the little weave, and there's the switch. They jump switch on that weave. Inside, Poplowski. Great, play. great look by Smith. I think Poplowski could be really a solid player. Anthony, no. Over the back, Ackles foul. Right now, Jerry doesn't have a whole lot of maneuverability from his bench because they're not a deep team. They'll get two players in December, the latter part of December, when they get Elmore Spencer and they get the big guy Love. Well, we should see Spencer next Saturday. He'll be back, I think, Wednesday, but can't play until Saturday. You know what Jerry told me today on the phone? I couldn't believe this. He said, Dick, you are not going to believe it. I have never seen Elmore Spencer take one shot in his life. I've never seen him play because he's been unable to practice with us. I've seen him. I saw him at the University of Georgia. He's pretty good. Big, strong player. I saw him in high school. I call him a Bob Lanier kind of player. There's that five-second violation with their defense. Look at Smith right now working out in the paint. There he is on the outside. Now look, there's the dump down inside to Peplowski. Good look by Smith, getting that good 45 degree angle. He's got those long arms. Las Vegas defense giving the offense the ball here as Anthony pumps it up. Won't go for three. Johnson pursues to the corner. Thrown away by Popowski. And Rebels control the rebound with Altman. Has the great athletic ability to get the offensive rebound. Jackson's three-pointer won't go down. Look at this. Give him three shots. 
Can't do it. That's Hoffman. Here's the diagonal pass right over the top of the defense. They picked it up a notch, deep. Yep, 75-64 at 6.28 to play in the ball game. This is a big-time player you're watching here, people. That's an NBA player. Hooks his pass over to Montgomery. Won't go over the top. I don't want to beat a point, but basically right there, as we look at Judd Heathco, that pass by Mr. Smith to last year would have been to Manns. That would have been an automatic three. Look at these points. 33 points, 14 rebounds, a career high. Well, they just haven't been able to handle him inside. He weighs about 248, 250 pounds, I guess, and uh, he's been on weights this summer. He's bulked up some. He's strong. He's a tough guy. And he takes high percentage shots. Doesn't take bad shots. That won't go down for what? Stacey Altman, but he comes back. They got to lead the nation in hugs as well. They give more hugs to one another. Constantly, their arms around each other. They love one another. Look, look, look at these hugs. Look at these hugs. They said, we're in love. Look at us. We're in love. We're a team on a mission. Hawkman now with 19 points, and Hickman with his second personal foul. And Monday night on ABC Sports, the NFC West Division rivals get after each other. The San Francisco 49ers, top team in the NFL, going against the Los Angeles Rams. Live coverage, 9 Eastern, ABC's Monday Night Football. Oh, I hate to read that John Robinson's jobs really might be on the line. He's one of the great coaches in football. Oh, it is not that might just be. Here's a love inside. Good pass for Steve Smith. And all of a sudden, they chopped that 13-point Las Vegas lead back to 11. But that's a lot for the Rebels. The ball stolen by stacking. Anthony comes down. Oh! Misses, trying to jam it. Anthony covers it, gives it to Hunt. If this goes down, good night. Five-point turnaround. That's a five-point five turnaround. That's a five-point swing, yep. What a turnaround. Got the open jam, and they come back down and knock down the three. Good night. 80 to 66 now. Smith quickly. Nope. Ball slapped out of there, and they'll call a foul on Anthony. Look at Anthony. He wants a bone and grow. I was teasing before about Lip, Bill Lampier. Certainly, I'm going to have my all Bill Lampier team, my all crybaby team. Guys that cry a mole, never commit a foul. There's Smith, he forces down. That's Brick City, USA. That's like my jump shot. He says, I got all ball. Looks like ball. But with our eyes, my man. <laughs> I don't know about your eyes, my eyes. My eye. Stevens on the line. Good. Does he get ball? We watch the ball come up. There's the long rebound. Now you watch. Here comes Anthony. Ooh, I thought no foul there. Backing. Uh, no. Slept out of there. They back goaltending. Don't get it. Spartans out. Fight him. Stevens with a super effort. Baginga takes it in. It won't go down. Stigenga really struggling right here in the last two minutes. Steve Smith right now is one-dimensional offensively when you look at the Michigan State team. He says, I need a little help. Come on, guys. Help me out. Well, they're playing a heck of a ball game, I think. Smith slapped out of there. I would count that. I'd count it. it, but Hickman gets it back. That's a goaltending. They missed the goaltending. And there's a technical foul called on Judge Heathcote. Judd is one of the fierce competitors in college basketball on that sideline. I thought he got that ball on its downward flight. Let's see if we get a better look right here. Can't tell from that angle. Oh, really close. Might have been a good call by the official. Yeah. Did he get it on its upward? Did he get it at its apex? I can't tell from that angle. You know, I get worried for Judd, and I really, I know I battled a stomach problem when I was coaching, but Judd had a heart attack, and the emotion in his game. Take a look right there. Oh, I thought it was goaltending. I did, too. 80 to 67 now, Nevada, Las Vegas, leading Michigan State. Judd pours out every bit of emotion on that sideline. Anthony. Off the technical foul, making the free throw. I'll tell you one thing, it hasn't been Cupcake City for Judd Heathcote. He's went out and played some people. 
I mean, you go on a road to Nebraska, that's certainly not an automatic, and they lost there on the road to Cincinnati. Look at Larry Johnson. He's coming to us. What's he pointing to us about? What's he want to know? Having a big the, day. He wants to use the monitor? He says, say hello to his mom. <laughs> Everybody wants a little PR. They don't want that TV, too. I don't think he has to worry about PR. You know? He's going to own the television station. Michigan State now, uh, they just all of a sudden they're sacked a little bit. Well, see, right now, a little fatigue could have set in as yeah. well. They're not a deep basketball team. These athletes keep clawing and scratching, like you said, coming at you. What I liked about UNLV were excellent timeouts by Garkanian. And we watched the drive down the lane. An intelligent play. When they got in trouble, they went to their horse. And they burned the clock. They burned the clock. And got the basket. Be a very tough team to beat. 83-67. And it's still that way. As Aukman is a mile high to get the rebound. And the Midwest is an improved conference. Yep. Jerry Pimm does a great job at California, Santa Barbara, New Mexico You know what uh, Jerry said yesterday? He thought New Mexico State was going to be a lot of trouble in conference. They They're lost to really New good. They lost to New Mexico, but that was at New Mexico. They're going to kill some time. Play with some zip discipline. up your pockets and take your own ball when you go to Las Cruces. It's hard to <laughs> see. <laughs> tough place to win at. <laughs> Boy. It's not too easy down at Albuquerque in the WAC conference either. Has a whistle and a foul. It'll go on Hickman. Next Saturday, starting at 1.30 Eastern time, the Georgetown Hoyas against the Ohio State Buckeyes. Georgetown lost today. Ohio State won, but uh, they really haven't played anybody yet. Oh, you're being kind. It's yeah. been a Jim Beheim cupcake classic schedule for Mr. Randy Ayers. They've had seven in a row. Hey, Shaquille goes against the Fighting Illini. Lou do himself, Lou Henson. Yeah, but they Lou haven't got the people to play Shaquille. And that one. Well, at home, it could be trouble, especially if you get Shaquille in trouble. But you know, getting back to Ohio State, I really think pure talent. Ohio State probably is the most talented team with Jimmy Jackson, but they haven't had a true evaluation yet. When you look at the Big Ten, I would think Indiana and Ohio State with Michigan State, once they get a little confidence, I really believe those three are going to be at the head of the class in the Big Ten. After running on a heading the first five, Larry Johnson's got a lid on that thing at the free throw line. I don't like that way he releases it. I'm going to tell him. I don't like that way. He's going to say, Dick, are you kidding? You're going to tell me? Hickman takes it in the paint. Drops it in. I think Hickman's got to get more playing time. I like his quickness to the basket. So easy to coach these teams when you sit in the sideline. Look at this. Technical foul right there. Michigan State with five. You know, lead with one. See, they're going to open up the court, try to go one-on-one -on -one right now. Hoffman, good pass to Johnson. That's the one-on-one -on -one ability of Stacey Hoffman. The great coaching maneuver, spread the court, use their one-on-one -on -one ability, and it creates the opening for Larry Johnson. He has 35. Career high for Larry Johnson. Uh, you know what's so impressive, Keith? They did not play super basketball here today, UNLV, and they still win going away. Stevens controls it. Hard, quick pass to the baseline. It's knocked out of bounds by Larry Johnson, so Michigan State will keep it. Well, they've only played two ball games, and uh, both on the road. But uh, they go home now, and uh, they'll have to be a little patient Wednesday against Princeton. the Milford Plaza Hotel with cocktail dinner and breakfast for $49.50 per person. Discover why we are the lullaby of Broadway. The Milford Plaza is the lullaby of Broadway. These people are about to become winners during Chevrolet Geo wintertime. Sir, what is the best-selling line of cars and which trucks are more people switching to? Uh, Starts with C. Uh, Chevy. Brilliant. You can win with cash back or low financing. Miss? Who has the most fuel-efficient line of cars and trucks in America? I know this. Getting to know you. Geo. Yes, Geo. You can win with a first-time buyer bonus. I knew that. You too can be a winner during winter time at your Chevy Geo dealer. 
Only one antiperspirant in the world helps keep you so dry with the cool, clean scent of Old Spice. Only one deodorant in the world has so many odor-fighting ingredients with the cool, clean scent of Old Spice. There's only one Old Spice. This Christmas, give the gift of total excitement. Fasten your seatbelt. Give total recall on video cassette. Catch. Arnold Schwarzenegger. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Total recall now on video cassette. The big guns head west for the duel in the desert. Alonzo Morning leads Georgetown against the Buckeyes from Ohio State. Next Saturday on ABC's College Basketball. Eighty-five, six to nine. UNLV leading here at the Palace. David Rice on the bench, one of the reserves for Nevada, Las Vegas. He's a senior. He finished third in the Rose Scholar competition in the state of Nevada. Third is Great Point. Three, nine, six. David Rice. Someone said this last semester at a 4.0 as you watch the drive down the lane. And you know what they're proud of at UNLV? is the fact, you know, their image has been so tarnished about the fact the players in the past weren't graduating. All six players, they expect to graduate by the end of the summer, headed by this young man right here. All the six seniors. Zulop, that foul, and team fouls now. Michigan State, that's 10. And uh, UNLV, five. 85-71, the Rebels have the lead. Well, we made our mind. We weren't going to harp on all the legal aspects and everything about it. It's been so well, documented. Tired of it. Yeah, I am, too. I'll tell you the truth. Let them just play basketball now. But I'll tell you, they have suffered immeasurably when you think about the future because next year they can't play on TV, they can't no. play in a tournament, and they've really been hurt in the recruiting. And they lost far more in Yeah, they got one freshman on the team, H. Walton. Yeah, they, they lost one freshman. And they lost O'Bannon and Tarver, programs wait a lifetime to recruit players of that quality. We certainly wish a speedy recovery, by the way, to Ed O'Bannon, who had knee surgery a month or two ago down there at UCLA. Bad, really bad. He's such a talent. He may not be back in a year. Wow, I'd hate to hear that, Keith. He's such a beautiful guy, great family. It's going to be a test of will for him. There's no question about it. Michigan State's Hickman handling the ball. He takes it in there into the traffic, but it's slammed out. Ackles gives him a new dimension, a shot blocker. What a pass. That's you and Ovid. See, that's their running game. That's the Express. That's the Rebel Express. Blow it out. The lights will be on next week when we're down against Florida State. And this one has been decided. Now, folks, it's 88-71. And he goes past uh, Claire B, the great one of Rhode Island, in winning percentage today with this victory. It's 88-71 and 119 to play in the game. I wonder if anybody can catch that 875 by Adolph no, Ruff. We I look don't at see how. Do you? Well, maybe Bobby Knight. I mean, he's only 50 years of age. If he wants to coach 20 more years, he's over 500. He probably has a shot. And Dean Smith, an outside chance depending on how long he stays. I think Bob's a thrifty fellow. He'll save his money and uh, go fishing with his day. Go fishing and hunting. He's got a great player in Calvert Chaney. Look at Larry Johnson, that great smile. What a beautiful guy he is. I tell you, I just love talking to him. He's such a class act. I mean, when you talk about loyalty in the 1990s, so many youngsters, it's me, 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 only care about myself. These kids really demonstrated truly tremendous loyalty to yep. that university they because they could have escaped. Well, you figure that uh, Augman and Johnson, those two in particular, could have gone for some big bucks. Well, they could have went to the, to the NBA, but also, Keith, when the NCAA placed those sanctions on them that they couldn't play in a tournament, they had the options to transfer anywhere they wanted and be eligible immediately. They said, no way. This is Gray, and Everett rolls one in. Too much athletic ability, too much quickness, too many athletes, and the defensive pressure really won this game. Steve Smith is foul. H. Wallman is back in the game. His number is 31. And uh, he's a heck of a passer. Yeah, he's a good player. He's out of uh, Clark High School in Las Vegas. But his name, his given name is H. His H, yeah. His granddaddy and his pappy were named Herb. Herbert. 
Mama didn't like it, so she just called him H, and that's it. He'll be the starting point guard next year, along with Anderson Hunt. Elmer Spencer will be in the middle. Everett Gray. They won't be a typical great UNLV team, but I believe Tarkanian. You hear so many rumors he may leave the NBA. I think, first of all, we're looking at a guy 61 years of age almost, and number two, at a guy who really wants to prove again. I really believe this after this year, that he's going to want to get it back on top again, and they can get they can get healthy quickly because he has such an unbelievable relationship with athletes who help him recruit. Big round for Steve Smith as he leaves the ball game as we go inside a minute now and reserves are gonna clean it up here. And it's just a matter now of the final score. Pass goes inside for Joyce and he's another big as you call him wide body. <laughs> and it will play a lot. Gray gets his seventh point of the ball game. I'm surprised we didn't see Travis Bice earlier in the game. Yeah. Three-point shooter. Travis is going to let him it, really. I mean, uh, uh, it's been a... I, I, I guess Jerry never really had the feeling that they were in serious trouble. They never had to rely totally on an outside shooting game. Yeah, he's a designated three-point shooter. Yeah. Played in high Simi school. Valley. Played with, yeah, in high school with Don McLean at UCLA. Yeah. Beauty from outside. That's Wallman's uh, first basket of the day. Just came in. It's a three-pointer. And it's 95-75. He just a matter of the final count. He really played well, Waldman, in his Dapper Dan last year. I did the Sonny Vaccaro Dapper Dan game featuring a lot of the great high school players. He's going to be a good player at UNLV. Wide open, but he's not going to get that off in the air. Hickman tries to dribble it, and they eat him up, and your final score, 95-75. Look, look at him smiling. You know what he's probably telling Judd? You should have brought out the Detroit Pistons. They lost six out of seven. Let them try to test us on this floor right now. With by 20. Look at Judd. He walks right by. Not mad at Jerry. Just frustrated with the way his team has played. So the running Rebels look like they're going to be all right this season, winning 95-75 over Michigan State. And here's John Saunders. Well, John, it was the Larry Johnson show today as he totaled 35 points and a big win for the Rebels. Well, he did a tremendous job, I thought, when they had to get him to basketball when Michigan State made that run at him. Larry Johnson showed why he's a PTPer. Happy ride home for Tark and the boys. Tomorrow, ABC Sports presents the world's top seniors teeing off in the final round of the New York Life Champions, plus a unique look at Arnold Palmer, the man and the legend, followed by an ABC Sports special report, Athletes and Addiction, It's Not a Game. Now stay tuned for your local news and world news Saturday over most of these ABC stations. ABC's College Basketball has been brought to you by today's Chevrolet, who invites you to see why more people are winning with the heartbeat of America by the Milford Plaza, one of New York's finest hotels. And by Mylanta, the antacid doctors recommend most. This has been a presentation of ABC Sports, recognized around the world as the leader in sports television.